Well, welcome to Coffee with Job on Friday. One of the most amazing experiences of last year was listening to the historian Tom Holland, who I absolutely love, lamenting that he didn't want to hear bishops giving health advice or religious leaders giving health advice. He wanted to hear what God had to say about this pandemic. Now, given that Tom Holland is not a professing Christian, that was an amazing statement. And to be honest, an acutely embarrassing one because so many of our religious leaders just go along with the culture and, and see themselves almost as glorified social workers. So what about that question? What does God have to say to the human race? Well, this may be, you may think this is a bit grandiose, but that's what we look at today. Job 28 verse 20, Job continues his discourse. Where then does wisdom come from? Where does understanding dwell? It is hidden from the eyes of every living thing, concealed even from the birds in the sky. Destruction and death say, only a room of it has reached our ears. God alone knows the way to it and he alone knows where it dwells. For he views the ends of the earth and sees everything under the heavens. When he established the force of the wind and measured out the waters, when he made a decree for the rain and a path for the thunderstorm, then he looked at wisdom and appraised it. He confirmed it and tested it. And he said to the human race, the fear of the Lord, that is wisdom, and to shun evil is understanding. Paul says, not Paul, Job says, God alone knows, God alone knows. And the point here is that God alone knows where wisdom is, God alone understands. In verse 24, we get this wonderful picture of God being able to see everything at a glance. He views the ends of the earth and sees everything under the heavens. We, we talk about, you know, cameras and eyes in the sky and, you know, knowledge is power in so many ways, but God sees everything. And he alone understands, verses 25 to 27 mention the wind, water, rain and thunder. The thunderstorm, go and have a look at Psalm 29. Last night here, for example, we had thunder and, and lightning and there's some cracking thunderstorms here in Australia. And here's the thing, in nature and in the storm, God is shown, but he is also mysterious. This is wonderful, follow this through. God created the universe with laws. He embodied it in his creation. He embodied wisdom in his creation, which is why it's observable. God organized, God understood. He perfectly understood. He confirmed it, he tested it, unlike us who cannot even find it. And then in verse 28, he reveals, and he said to man, God has revealed wisdom to humanity. And what is the revelation? What does God have to say? This is the question. Do you know what God has to say in, in COVID, in climate change, in everything, in your personal circumstances? Do you know what God has to say? Fear the Lord, that is wisdom, and shun evil, that is understanding. Is that it? Is that really it? That's the, the key to life? I remember hearing Leonard Cohen once and uh, Edinburgh Castle and he's talked about the meaning of life and everything else. And then he just began singing da do 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 da 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 da. And it was just utterly brilliant because he was mocking all the pretentiousness. But real wisdom is to believe that God does all things right. It's to live in submission to God, even though God doing all things right may not be immediately obvious. Real wisdom consists in rejecting evil it consists in revering God, in adoring God, and in obeying God. Truly the wise man is the one whose life is centered on God, not self, and is regulated by God. Man in right relationship to God, worshiping him, serving him, obeying him, that is wisdom and understanding. And that's why we live in such a foolish age. Because people, even within the church, don't see that. Ephesians 5 verse 15 says this, Be very careful then how you live, not as unwise, but as wise, making the most of every opportunity, because the days are evil. Wow. Live as the wise, making the most of every opportunity, because the days are evil. 
James 1, 5, if any one of you lacks wisdom, he should ask God, who gives generously to all without finding fault, and it will be given to him. And if you go back to yesterday's, Colossians 2, verses 2 to 3, Christ, in whom is, are hidden all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge. Proverbs 3, 7, do not be wise in your own eyes, fear the Lord and shun evil. When I look at social media, and I'm guilty of this as well, I just see so many people being wise in their own eyes. But fear the Lord and shun evil. Do you know, that's what God is saying to humanity. Not to trust in ourselves, but to look to him, to fear him, to understand him, to love him, to know him. Okay, uh, join us on Sunday for the Romans Road, and then back on Monday with... We'll be on to chapter 29 as Job continues his...